Hit it. Why are you out here? Go on. Harry. Go on. Go on. I want to tell you. I might as well do. Go on then. About a man who can do anything. Alright. Born in Oldham. Born in Oldham. This touch is golden. This touch is golden. It's Kieran Lee! Kieran Lee! Kieran Lee! Sorry, Barney, I think we scared you. Oh, right. my word, he's coming back. He's <laughs> coming back. Hello, guys, and welcome to a new video. Today, me and Joe are off to Preston North End, Deepdale, a ground that I wanted to get off the bucket list in a while because I love it. Such a nice very ground. Nice. It is. It is very nice. I've got Ben HD recorded a prediction for this game. Take it away, Ben. So hello everyone on Brad's channel, Preston going up against Sheffield Wednesday. This fixture always tends to throw up something dramatic. Earlier on in the season we had Ben Pearson being sent off for us. Lately in the league, Preston haven't really been on a brilliant run ever since the hopes of us making it into the top six went. Our performance levels have sort of dipped down a little bit. We've got a couple of players out injured at the moment, but we've lost five of our last six games now. I'm hoping that as this is going to be our last game of the season at home at Deepdale, we'll put on a bit of a performance. I don't think it'll be a bland game as such. I see there being a few goals in it maybe. Ben Pearson is also coming back from another suspension, so he'll be back fit for this game. But I don't think it's a question. You guys have been playing a lot better than we have lately. For this one, I'm going to predict it to finish as a 1-1 draw. I'm hoping that as it is our last home game of the season, we will put on a decent performance. Callum Robinson is probably our biggest danger man going forward. I see him maybe causing you guys a few problems, but apart from that, I think it'll be a fairly level game. And so I'll predict it to finish as a 1-1 draw. I don't think there'll be all too much in there. What do you predict? <laughs> I don't know. I seen it. Oh, no. <laughs> He's gonna say a 1-1. One, one. He probably will, yeah. I'll leave that in if he has as well. <laughs> Just a quick one. This away day is brought to you by Wednesday night. They are the friendliest coach people around. Make sure if you're going on an away day next season, book with them. Uh, they're probably the cheapest around as well. Right then, okay, going into this game, Wednesday have actually got a very, 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 very slim, like minute chance of still getting playoffs. So this could be interesting. If we win today, uh, Swansea lose, Bristol City and Derby draw, and Middlesbrough lose to Reading, we win. That puts us one point outside going into the oh, final yeah, day exactly. against QPR on Sunday, which, not gonna lie, that'll be a bag of nerves that day, if that happens. Um, yeah, I might need a spare change of boxes. <laughs> right, going on to score predictions. Joe, what do you think for today? Uh, I, I think I think it'll be a draw, but I'm going to be optimistic. I'll say 2-1 to us. Personally. I'm going to say 2-1 as well. Um, Regent playing today. He's been confirmed he's out for the season now. Kieran Lee, obviously, looks to be back. Um, Westwood plays in goal, I think, today, he yeah. said. And there's possibility for Aaron's as well, I think. So, I'm going to be optimistic as well. I'm going to go 2-1, and I'm going to say it's going to be a late winner for us. And oh, cause so. many deaths in that way. And if Kieran Lee scores, you hear it here first, I'm going about 10 rows. We sat on row 24, so I think that's quite high up. Um, but yeah, if Kieran Lee scores a winner in the 90 plus minute, I'm falling down loads of rows. Like, I don't care. Phone's going flying. Right, I'll see you later with cinematics, that sort of stuff. Team lineups, beer, alcohol, booze. Same thing. Just maybe thing. <laughs> I'm gonna be absolutely carried on. <laughs> After subtitles, it's probably a bit too loud in here. On the bench. Oh. He is on the bench. No. Dawson. Dawson. Oh. Strange. Palmer, Onomar, Poe, Fessy, Fletcher, Bannon, Lee, Matthias, Iorfa, Hector, and Forestieri. Subs. I don't know. That's mine. Wildsmith, Fox, Lee, Bannon, New Who, uh, Boyd, New Who, Hooper, Zhao. <laughs> that bench is strong. Strong. Go on, Lee. Oh, Come on. Thank <laughs> you. 
Get away! Ow! Well done, that'll do. Go on, Memphis. Oh, brain palmer! Oh. It's good, him, though, Robinson, isn't it? It's good ball as well, that. Well. Football's a strange game. Yeah, I can't see it. that'd be a great start, that wouldn't it?
on, Palmer, go with it then, go with it. Take on your man. Go on, Palmer. Oh. Oh. Go on up. Come on then lads, come on. Good ball. Hector. Oh. She can't deal with it. Touch gold! 
<laughs> the fourth official has indicated there will be a minimum of six additional minutes. This is what 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 is Good ball. Oh. Wow, what a game that was. I've just drived home. It's about half seven, I think. What a game that was. First half, absolutely dire. Apparently, Steve Bruce could be heard in the changing room shouting his head off at the players, which I do not blame him uh, because it was awful in the first half. Second half, came out of fighting. Uh, we got the first goal to make it 2 1, I believe. Then, a bit of a sloppy defensive mistake again. Uh, to make it 3-1 and then from there on in we just absolutely dominated and we could have won it I do think we could have won it but I was happy with the draw I mean we, we fought back and we scored an equaliser and there were scenes in the away end um, I hurt my leg <laughs> pretty bad but anyway um, so yeah guys hope you enjoyed the video if you did please leave a like subscribe while you're here and I'll see you and the last home game of the season, which is QPR on Sunday. See you later.